When do you want to go back to work? How long do you want to stay on maternity leave? Are you going back in your old job? Are you going to start a new business? With a baby? Like, how will you do it? Will you... Will you give your baby, your three-month-old baby, into daycare? Like, all those kind of questions came up to me when I was pregnant. Like, people asked me, what are you going to do with your business? Like, what are you going to do? Are you going to continue working? When are you going to start? Like, what about your clients? What about this? What about that? What about expanding your business? What about... I didn't know. I just knew I had the most exciting and precious time in front of me and I didn't want to bother with that kind of questions. So after giving birth, that, those questions came again. So what are you going to do now? What about your business? When are you going to start working again? When, you, when will your child go to kindergarten, daycare? Will you have a nanny? How will you afford a nanny? It really makes it not sexy to have kids. You know, when you have to, let's be honest. All those decisions that you have to make before and after you have a kid, it's just, it's, it's not sexy. Like, you're enjoying your baby, you're enjoying your pregnancy, you're enjoying your little family, and you're just in this, in this pink bubble. Okay, purple bubble, whatever kind of colory bubble you want, but you're in this bubble of motherhood and you're sharing like so intimate, beautiful moments with your newborn baby. And all of a sudden, all those questions kick in, mostly anticipated by others, family members, from the outside that want to burst your bubble. Well, maybe not intentionally, but somehow they want, some, of, some people want to give you a reality check. But the reality has changed. For a mom, the reality has changed. What was important before giving birth doesn't matter anymore. Like what was, what what made you stay up all night you know right now it's just how could i waste a thought about that and so you have first of all you you're in this diffuse diffuse place where you where you don't quite know like okay what it, who am i now like where am I now? Like, what is my reality? Like, what... Where will I go from here? From who I am now? And that's such an interesting and adventurous question to ask. Because I... Not... Not... There are not many times in life where you can actually, or where your reality shifts so hard than after giving birth to a beautiful little baby. And so there's this question, who am I? What do I want? Do I want to get back in my old job? Do I want to work nine to five? Do I want to work eight to 10? But what about my career? Yeah, what about your career? Are you happy? Or could you imagine yourself bringing your kid to daycare and then starting work at nine and then maybe pick up your child from the daycare at one or two after their nap? and then just play all afternoon. 
or go to music class or swim class or meet up with other moms and kids and well, how would that be? Like still being a big part of your kid's life and don't become a stranger. Wouldn't that be nice? But hey, you can work nine to five, you can work 10 to 12 hours a day. I don't care if, that, if, that, if that's what makes you happy and that's what makes you happy, but you need to find that out. What is the new happy you? And it's not just about finding it out, but it's about supporting that decision, supporting, supporting what you discovered about yourself. Maybe some things will be scary and different and maybe you think other people won't support that, but that doesn't matter. We have a beautiful little baby and even if you're, if you're the business kind, the business mom that just wants to go back to work after giving birth, like right after giving birth and having a nanny and just like doing business and baby at the same time, hey, congrats. Really, I totally root for you. And what if you don't? And that's perfect too, that's fine. It's awesome actually, because you can decide now what you want. I believe our parents didn't really have the choice, or our grandparents didn't really have the choice. The choices that we have right now, the freedom that we have in choosing the jobs, the professions that we want. And to search for what really makes you happy. And so the big question here is, who are you? You can ask that question in any kind of situation. Like, after getting married, you know, now you're a union with your husband, so who are you now? Or, of course, tragic incidences always follow up with the question, who am I now? But especially such a joyous moment as giving birth, getting married, like wonderful happenings in your life. They offer that question to you and you can decide who you want to be, who you are right now and where you want to go from there. And that's the only thing that matters is where do you want to go? Maybe I can help you with that.